my ex-husband and I were going through a divorce. I left Guam just to get away from my ex because if I stay there, I'm gonna kill him. My name is Jackie. I was born in Philippines. I was 23. I was back in Palau in South Pacific. Met my uh, uh, Tony. We met at parking lot. He ran and gave me the, his phone number. And I said, him. He called me so many times. He courted me for six weeks. Then he proposed after that. It didn't take that long. I called my mother. My mother was really upset. She, she you know, she thought that, you know, I was pregnant. And so I said, no, I'm not pregnant, mother. And she was like, so why are you getting married just like that, just so fast that, you know, so fast that, um, I told her I'm not pregnant. I, she asked me if I slept with him. I said, no. And I told him specifically that, you know, in, 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 in Filipino culture, you cannot sleep with that person, not unless you're married. My, my oldest brother, he was very upset. He's a little racist. He doesn't like him because he's white. Well, like they said, they don't trust him. They know that they're gonna, he's gonna do something wrong, and they were right. Well, the first year of marriage was okay. Good memories was when my son was born until he was three years old and everything was just falling apart. And they never had any time for us anymore. I didn't know that my ex-husband was falling around for more than a year. He fell for, he cheated for more than a year and things was just not right. I, uh, I hired somebody. I hired a detective, and uh, they took he took some pictures out of the hotel that they were staying, and in the restaurant that he was taking. And uh, one day, I put it uh, put it on the envelope and gave it to him, and he said, I "Told him that's for you." And he was like, uh, "For me, I don't have my name on it." And I said, "That's for you." He looked at it, he opened it, and he said, who's that? I said, that's you. And he denied it, that wasn't him, and he's not doing anything at all. So I got really upset that I threw the, uh, um, I don't know what I did to him, but I know I threw something to him. And we had a fight. And the first time that he saw me scream and yell and calling him names, first time he saw me get mad. And I told him, then I found the knife to him and I told him, I'm gonna cut your dick. I'm gonna put it in a jar. And uh, so you'll see it every day. He cheated on me. He, uh, that's, he's the first man that I love. I mean, I was, I never been to anybody. I fell in love with them. I loved them. And uh, it's just too painful that he did that to me. And then I have a little, a three years old little boy who was suffering too. He doesn't know what he was, uh, what was going on. So three years old, and that's just like, it's, he, I just, it's so hard. It was just hard looking at three years old and at the same time too, this guy was just... He ruined everything.
Nobody knows about what had happened. I keep it to myself. Not even a friend. Well, there's one. She's an old lady who knew about it. And um, I was uh, working part-time at the uh, hotel. And every day she sees me like, what's wrong with you? Is there something wrong? She, she was like, you're, you're losing weight. Your eyes were just... And I, I make all these alibis, not, you know, at work. And she was like, something is wrong. And I said, yeah. And I told her the truth that my ex-husband and I were going through a divorce. And so she, she was, she's the one that helped me out. I even got sick that I thought my life would just end up, you know, just end up out there. Because who's gonna want me right now? Not now that I'm not a virgin anymore, have a son. No one's gonna like me. So what is the life for? Might as well just go and die, right? So I didn't eat. I didn't sleep. Then one day, my doctor. I was taken to the hospital because I was throwing up blood. When I married this man, all right, um, I give everything I can. That's how much I love him. I'm, I love him more than myself. And that's why I was hurt. That's why I was, um, I, I didn't say that I hate, hate, hated man or whatever. It's just, he really hurt, you know. It's just, to me, ha having into a relationship, which is I do want it to get married again and have one family and grow, grow older with that person, and I wish that it did happen. But if I get hurt again, I don't think so. I don't know. I think I'll be like this. I'll be single.